What's going on people, Ryan Williams AC here with your match preview, Arsenal travel to take on Brighton. Now guys, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you like, share and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts down below, your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. So, let's get into it. Um, guys, this is going to be a tough one. Um, we know the run of fixtures that are coming up are going to be very, very tough. Of course, we've got Brighton away, then we hosting Newcastle, then I think we take on, if my order is correct, it's Tottenham away, then Manchester United at home. Very, very tough four fixtures coming along while we're currently five points clear, top of the table. It's going to be tough. It's going to be so, so tough. But can we get the job done? We'll see. One game at a time. Hopefully we can get the job done against Brighton because our record there is not the greatest of course both teams picking up three points on boxing day um both winning three goals to one i might add but let's look at some players from brighton um that could actually cause us harm casado McAllister. at the moment in this recording of this video there was news saying that these guys will not be featured so, we will see what will happen with that. There's guys like Trossard, who's having a very good season. Pascal Gross. We we all know Danny Welbeck. And there's a few other players that I'm, I'm, I apologise for not coming to mind. But Brighton are not to be underestimated. We saw what happened when Chelsea went, came to town. And, you know, that was not a warm welcome home. For Graham Potter and Cucurella. Um, we saw their performance at Anfield earlier on this season. Literally fighting to the depths with Liverpool. We saw what happened with them against Manchester United in the opening day of this season. I mean, Brighton are a tough side. Brighton play very, very good football. You know, not much different with their current manager compared to Graham Potter. I, as far as I am aware, when the new manager came in, he said he wasn't going to really change much of the philosophy. It was pretty much in order. Maybe a few tweaks. But Brighton, currently 7th in the table. I mean, we'll see. They're pushing for that European spot. So we'll see. Us, of course, you know, we're trying to win the title right now. Five points clear. You know, we'll see what happens. But listen, this game... We cannot underestimate Brighton whatsoever. It's going to be tough. You know, the away atmosphere at Amex, they're going to be up for it. They're going to be rowdy. But can we do it? I mean, we went to Ellen Road this season. Very hostile place. We managed to get the three points. We went to Monaru just before we broke up from the World Cup. Another place historically, you know. I mean, yeah, we won there last season, but... I mean, previous seasons has always been tough playing Wolves away, and we managed to get the, got the dub. So this game, same thing. We have to keep going. We got to keep fighting, and it's all about the three points. So for me, would I make any changes? I mean, I mean the lineup picks itself: Ramsdale on goal with the back four, um, Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel. We're gonna come back to the left back in a sec. Um, midfield picks itself, Partey, Xhaka, Erdegaard, and the front three was Saka, Martinelli, and then Ketia. So, the left-back position. Now, of course, Tierney's fit, Zinchenko's fit. So, what do we do here? And we also heard Tomiyasu's back in training also. So, I, I, I don't think we'll see Tomiyasu feature in this fixture. I think more than likely he'll be on the bench. As well as ESR, who's back to fitness too. He'll probably be on the bench. So, obviously, you don't play left back, but I just thought I'd include that. So, left back. Now, if we want to impose our game, if we want to come out come out the blocks and attack him, you pick Zinchenko. I'm not saying Tierney can't attack, but Tierney, defensively, is better than Zinchenko. So, for me, it's about how you want to implement this game, you know. And I don't think sitting back on Brighton is pretty much is the smartest of moves. 
because they will get you. So on this one, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually, oof, it's tough. It's very tough for me. I'm gonna go with Zinchenko only because when Xhaka goes forward, you see Zinchenko just tuck in into that centre mid role. Whereas if Xhaka's going forward, Tierney's going forward. He's gonna start going up the wing and start crossing the box in. Then you'll see Martin Eddy tuck in, you know, and then we literally all around. So in a sense, that's, that's what we we want to do. So really and truly, I'm gonna go with Zinchenko. But for the scoreline, I'm gonna predict a very close scoring game here. I'm gonna go two one Arsenal. Um. Again, like I said, Brighton got some good players there, you know, that can hurt us. However, we got players that can hurt them too. So I think it's going to be a very, very tough game. But all in all, it's all about the three points. Can Arsenal keep going? That's what we need to do. We need to keep going. We need to answer that question. No matter of fact, we need to keep the gap spacious from City and even Newcastle, because they're all next game after this game at uh, Brighton. Because they're going to be wanting to try to close the gap also as well. But there you have it. That is my match preview. Guys, what do you think? What Would you change anything different? Any lineup? Would you move any players around? Would you rather Kieran Tierney start or Zinchenko? Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. And on that note, I'm going to sign off. Thanks for checking out this video. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe, of course. We're currently on the road to 200 subscribers. So, guys, if you can, share the content. If you're a first-time viewer, what are you doing? Subscribe. So, on that note, I'm out. Have a good evening, guys. Peace.